Hey, I'm Jess, and next week my husband turns 30 years old, and if you've been watching for a while, you know how much he deserves the most amazing 30th he can get. Ever since I've known Stephen, he's always spoiled me on my birthday. He's taken me to Bali twice, one year we celebrated in Russia, and this year for my 30th, he gave me the most amazing surprise birthday week, and on top of all that, the following week, the most emotional surprise baby shower. So. Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> oh Jess, you're gonna make me cry, don't! Thank you so much! But when it comes to Stephen's birthdays, we never seem to time them outright. One year, he spent it on a 12 hour bus ride from London to Paris, and another year, we spent it on a 24 hour bus through South America. I don't know what it is with Stephen's birthdays and bus rides, but I think it's time to break that tradition. So, for this 30th, no more bus rides. It's time to have the most epic birthday week ever. So you want to know just how I feel about you. Oh hey Scott, it's Jess. Good, are we still on for today? Okay, I need to give you guys the inside scoop on Stephen's birthday plans. Over the last few months, Stephen has non-stop been talking about wanting to hit the road and going traveling. And I was thinking something that Stephen has never experienced before is a camper trailer. And our friend Scott sells camper trailers and he currently has a demo wonderland. He said it is amazing and he's letting us take it out for the next week. Okay, I think Steven has come home. I'm hearing the car. <gasps> Yay! Okay. Stevie! I have a surprise for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is it? Is it something Christmas related? What have you done? I thought we promised. I put up our Christmas tree. Really? Close your eyes. <laughs> you haven't. <laughs> no, haven't. It's October. I don't have one. Close your eyes. Okay, wait, Lou. Okay, get all sorted. Okay, are you ready? I'm making it out like it's the biggest review all over and it's nothing even that exciting. But what is happening next Friday? Oh, my birthday. Yeah. Open your eyes. Birthday week has started early. Oh, wow. Bobs, when did you do this? Well, you were out. <laughs> this is so nice. It's, it's, it's kind of... Okay, so hold this. Turn it around. Turn it around. This so is no, fun. It looks like just balloons, but there's something even more exciting. Okay. Do I so come yeah. backwards? No, you just stay there. Oh, yeah, just stay there. Okay. Okay. So I know your birthday is until next Friday, so technically it's in like a week and a half. Oh, a week and a half have birthday for week. You. <gasps> this is fun. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. How old are you turning? There's not 30 envelopes. There's 30 there. envelopes. And I'm going to tell you throughout the next week and a half when to open them. Wow. So you need to open up the first one. I can open up the first one? Yeah, I'll hold the camera for you. All right. I'll open Stand up. by the balloon. <laughs> this is so much fun. All right. Had to catch you off guard. Merry Christmas. Um, they all might be Christmas cards. <laughs> Christmas related after all. Merry Christmas. Surprise birthday week is starting early. Yay! Okay, yeah. you can open number two. Oh, I can open number two? <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> what does this say? Why do I feel like you got a good deal on some Christmas cards? <laughs> it says Merry Christmas. Pack your bags for a week-long adventure in the sun. <laughs> Alright, go pack your bags. Really? Yeah. These are so much fun. Guess you just woke up from the nap. You ready to say happy birthday to dad? I know it's a little bit early, but here in the household, we celebrate our birthdays for like a week and a bit. Don't let her know that, otherwise it's supposed to be for Hunter. Oh. Oh, baby's waking up. <laughs> Is she coming on the trip? Of course. Did you have anything to do with this birthday surprise? Hmm. Yeah. Were the balloons your idea? Oh, <laughs> what do you think of this? Yeah? You're not sure about balloons yet? Look, you can whack it. So, a week? A week. A week uh, of sunshine. But maybe of... jumper just in case. Okay, jumper just honest, in case. To be honest, I haven't checked the weather. So okay. maybe we'll pack for both seasons. Pack, you never know. Pack for both seasons? Oh, and pack your swimmers.
Alrighty, Stevie. Are you ready? Envelope number three. Oh, what Christmas card have you got? <laughs> <laughs> Same one. Merry Christmas. Hey. All right, what's number three say? Okay, I've made Stephen hide his eyes this entire time. Did not want to miss the reveal. Are you ready for what you're going to be driving around in for the next week? Have you got any experience with camper trailers? Because we're about to find out. <laughs> Okay. What we're going to be living in for the next week. Alright. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Happy birthday! Oh <laughs> my goodness. Good night. You know Scott? Yes. He's letting us take one of his camper trailers out. What? For a whole week. Really? That's all you're knowing so far. I've Let's never driven a camper trailer before. You can do it! <laughs> this thing is huge. <laughs> How? It's our new house on wheels, Steve. You can do this! What? Look at what I'm looking at at the moment. How is our car <laughs> going to drive this? <laughs> hey, what have you done? <laughs> Mate, it's your third year. I wanted to do something pretty special and um, I think this should tick all those boxes for you. <laughs> I've never driven anything like this before. This is, this is going to be fun. For my 30th, I want to learn some new things, so... Thanks for this. I really appreciate it. Pleasure, mate. Yeah, been friends a long time, so it's been good. <laughs> let's let's give this a shot. <laughs> what has Jess <laughs> made me do? Oh my goodness! First time reversing a slightly bigger car than what we have at home onto a camper van. So what I have to do. Ideally, always have all your windows down so it's easy to hear each other. Yes, that okay. It's easy to communicate. I normally put my arm up here so he knows directly below my elbow. He's where the line up. And a little bit right. Oh, that way. <laughs> I've got Scott at the back saying. So. Alright, going back, going back. I see you, Scott. Stop. Cool. Good. Yay. <laughs> Apparently, I haven't ruined Scott's trailer. <laughs> the coolest surprise birthday you've ever done like <laughs> I would not be expecting to be doing this right now <laughs> by the way guys Scott ended up giving me a full run through how to learn everything I think I've kind of got it down packed we'll see <laughs> you say that you should always start your 30th by learning something new that is so true I'm gonna stick with that mantra <laughs> but we managed to go and fuel this beast up we then also went and did some grocery shopping so we can actually eat on this road trip. Hunter, by the way, is very, <laughs> very excited for this road trip. Alrighty, before the sun sets, let's see if I can remember everything that Scott and Alicia taught me. They took me through an entire run through on how to run this beast. But you know when you're in school and you just get a word vomit of what to do. Alright, while Stephen is setting up the caravan, I've already clearly jumped into jammies. Hunter's in bed and I am cooking dinner. I'm making tacos. <laughs> Alrighty, four legs stabilized now. It's time to go and grab the electricity so we can run off the mains because we have a powered campsite. Then also to connect our gray pipe, so that's any of our showers, taps just to run out. And then hopefully we can go and get this connected up with some water. Huh. I feel like any plumbers out there probably think I'm a complete idiot, but maybe we'll just run off the tanks tonight. Alright, connected a 
this up. Okay, good. Only thing is I couldn't work work out the water. What have you cooked? <laughs> Tacos. This looks good. Check the freezer. It cooked one down you know. for you. Thanks. <laughs> Yum. Little celebratory think I worked out a camper trailer, but we might roll away in the night. You've Ginger got beer. This, Steve. Ah, oh, that so. tastes so good. <laughs> Guys, before I go to bed, I have to take this moment to say a massive thank you to Scott for all this incredible surprise for helping work with Jess to like blow me away today. You're probably wondering how he has this down in Rockingham. He actually has his own business that he's been running for two years now called RV Solutions and he started repairing caravans and he also sells them as well including this one, this little demo model that he's letting us use it. So, Scott, if you're watching this, which I feel like you are watching this, thank you so much for just making such an awesome, awesome start to my 30th. And I promise you guys, I'll give you a tour of this tomorrow morning because um, I'm a little bit wrecked right now. Wait, before you make any promises about what's happening tomorrow, you need to read your next envelope. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I've told Hunter to wake us up bright and early. She does that. Early tomorrow for a fun surprise. Go get some sleep. Okay, I have a coffee for you. Ooh. But maybe over here because of the baby. And we have another thing. Hunter, shall we give it to him? What is that? All right, baby. Do you want to give this to dad? Okay. There oh, you go. Thank you. What's inside? Is it a Christmas card? She said, I told you I'd wake you up early. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Pop on your swimmers because this morning we're swimming with wild seals. <laughs> we gotta go, we leave in like 20 minutes. Can she come? Yeah. Hunter, you get to go on a boat for the first time. Are you ready for quite the morning adventure? She has no idea what's about to happen. You ready to go for a swim? Do we need to get you a wetsuit? Oh, she's loving the sea breeze. Look at those goldy locks blowing in the wind. <laughs> Don't need the cold or a snowy mountain road. Alrighty. Ah. See you later. Don't need diamonds or gold. All the pictures we've been sold Paradise It's a simple state of mind It's the people by your side But only you can find First boat ride? Oh yes. You are Coffee. a savior. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, how unreal was this morning? That was so good. I was saying to the vlog before when I was in the water. Oh, I miss doing this stuff so much. It's amazing. It felt like the old times, just going out in the water, swimming with wildlife. It was so good. If you guys are ever up in Durian Bay, check them out. They're called turquoise safaris and oh wild sea lions it was amazing and how good did you go on the boat you know what today was extra special because you could show us that we can still travel like we used to it's just yeah. a bundle of more fun it was so good we found this little coffee shop right up the side of our caravan park but we've packed up i still have another envelope to give you but let's jump on the road head north okay okay <laughs> All right, you said head north. Yeah. Is there a Christmas card waiting? <laughs> <laughs> Pack up the camper, check, because we're saying goodbye to Jerry Bay, check. Next stop. I go to the party and feel like a ghost and try to seem happy. But every <laughs> so, we have just stopped on the side of the road. Jess is making some lunch. And I think one of the coolest things about having a house on wheels is where you can stop for lunch. Look where we stopped. I wake in 
the morning air I reach for you But all our fans darkness don't know what to do This is how much Hunter wants food Pulling on Dad's plate Which one after? The chips or the wrap? <laughs> she is so into this lake What do you think, huh? First of all, I realise you guys like to Oh, I'm, I may have planned this out. <laughs> You're matching the scenery as well. That is an A plus effort on, it on that. In person, it looks like strawberry milk. It looks like Nesquik. <laughs> like I know it just looks so unnatural, the oh. colour, but I promise you guys there's no filter. This is the colour of it. It's the same yeah. pink as Hunter and Jess's outfit. <laughs> All right. Shall we hit the road? I feel like there's another Christmas card coming my way. How on a 50s kind of love? How on a heart that isn't so messed up? How on the pure stuff that I once dreamed of? That's how the dinner to the road. This is the cool thing about where we live. Go down south, it's all green and blues, but up here, oranges, lots of grain, and um, a whole lot of nothing. So far Jess has just said drive north for maybe three hours. Hasn't fully told me where we're going. She says it's definitely rural outback kind of Australia. As you can see we're kind of just on the side of the road currently giving Hunter a bit of a snack. But yeah, no idea where we're going. She said I'll find out about seven o'clock so I don't know this area of WA too well. All right, Jess, the sun is technically setting soon and I still have no idea where we're going tonight. All right, so the issue is, mm -hmm. I've left all the envelopes in the back. <laughs> okay. So no... Another issue is I've forgotten the name of the place. <laughs> Wait, do you know where we're going? <laughs> that feeling that you wake up in the morning and you have no idea where you are. <laughs> we got in just after dark last night and Jess said we're at Woomeral Station. Oh, we just got to figure out what's here. The back of my head and the front of my tongue Got me feeling so damn young And I don't know where it's coming from So I know you're asking me why we stopped it's just kind of in the middle of nowhere It just looks like a ranch, like yeah. an Australian ranch in I the middle of a, nowhere well, It's a massive station, like cattle and sheep station But there is something really cool and unique about this campsite Okay <laughs> I'm gonna come take you oh. Yeah This isn't what I was expecting to be doing this morning. Now I know why Jess picked this place. They have natural hot springs and they've just like got these gigantic bathtubs. It is so warm. I feel like it's about 33 degrees. Sun is just rising. What a way to start the morning. You can smell the minerals. That's why I wasn't too sure if Hunter could go in. It's so like, isn't it full of magnesium? It feels like it. Like I look like I'm covered in dirt right now. And we have no reception to Google if it's okay. So I'm like, better safe than sorry. So we're just going to watch you enjoy your little hot tub. Hey, you have it all by yourself. It's a good thing we woke up early. Before we head off, we want to finally give you a little tour of what we've been calling our tiny home on a wheel. So this is a Wonderland RV and I can't wait to show you inside. So when you first walk in, you are greeted to our bedroom with a huge comfy mattress and there is so much storage. On either side we can store stuff. We can lift the bed up and store stuff all underneath. On either side of the bed there are plugs and USB ports so it's really well laid out and we even have a TV. Over through here is our kitchen so we have like a full size fridge and freezer. I have a stove top just underneath here where I've been cooking all our dinners. And this all runs on gas. Like tonight, we free camped and we still had all the gas that we could use to cook on. So we got the stovetop and we have an oven as well. I never knew caravans had ovens. 
We also have a big sink and a microwave. And over here is our little dining room, which actually can also be converted into another bed. And above everything, of course, is more storage. So this is where we've been storing like all our plates and bowls. And there's all our cups and mugs. Definitely enough storage if you're moving in. Yeah, but the coolest bit, I think, is in the back. As we walk into the other half of the van, there is aircon as well. But if you come through here, if you're a kid, this is going to be the funnest thing ever. There is a triple bunk bed setup, so you can fit so many people in here. More storage as well, so we've just been putting our clothes in here. But if you open this up, there's a washing machine in here as well, so you can definitely keep your clothes nice and clean on the road. It just keeps going. Open up here, there's two doors. One, you've got your own toilet in here, and we have our own shower where we've pretty much been having our showers in the morning. Of course, there's gas. We've been having hot showers every night, every morning. It's got two 95 litre water tanks below it, so we can pretty much just top up, you know, every other night. So like tonight where we don't have water or electricity, there's got some solar panels on the roof to keep us going for kind of for the night. And also we have enough water to keep us going. So this is kind of cool. First time experiencing living out of a camper van. Definitely loving it. You have, I mean, so much space like you can be so comfortable driving around Australia in one of these Alrighty, what's your crazy plan for today? Okay, we have one more drive till we get to our final destination People are gonna realize how big WA is like how crazy is this journey? But trust me once we get there, it'll all make sense The final destination, huh? To card 10. Let's hit the road. Next stop, X Mount. My bags are packed. Something always takes me back to that small cafe. Alright, there's one roadhouse here in the middle of nowhere. Fingers crossed, they have coffee. The West Coast sun is hot on my skin. Summer breeze is moving. Yes, you've got the goods. Got coffee, Once breakfast, again, and maybe a little treat. I drink. forget all the places I could be when you are here with me. Oh, oh I left my heart in California between the canyons and the sea. Hope one day you'll find it and breathe. So someone was a little upset that she missed out on going in the bars with Dad. So we were off to the pool. She was demanding it. She was like, I need a swim. Yes, I'm especially a bit jealous. after that drive, huh? <gasps> One, two, three. <laughs> Your little setup right now. Why are we having Ooh. to buy you new bathers every other week? You just keep on she growing. She keeps growing. Them. I like put, this time I've got some that are a couple of sizes up so we don't have to keep needing to get her new ones. Look at you. I'm glad you're finally rocking the hat because that just adds to the cute factor. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, forgot to say, good morning from Exmouth everybody. You know you've come far north when the sand and dirt starts looking orange and red. So Jess keeps telling me that the whole reason we've driven 1300 kilometers to the top of Western Australia is that it's for a pretty exciting reason. <laughs> Sorry, Angie. When you put it that way, it does sound like I've made you drive a lot. It's been fun though. It's been a learning experience. Are you ready to find out why we've driven all the way up here? I think I have a guess. Okay. <laughs> Let me have a read. Is it? Because there's one reason you come up to Exmal. What do you think? How does swimming with humpback whales sound? <laughs> that sounds so amazing. I also found a tour that lets us take Hunter. You guys can come? Yes. Did you think it was going to be humpbacks or did you think it was going to be whale sharks? I thought it was going to be whale sharks. That's why you come up here. We swam with them two years ago and even if it was just whale sharks... So why are you not surprised? <laughs> so... I am it's, still surprised. At the moment, it's right at the end of the migration. So humpback whales do pass in the Blue Reef, which is where we've come up to. I really hope we can spot some because it is at the end of the migration, but we're going to go out all day. It's a big boat. They said we could even bring our pram on there. So it must be like a big boat for Hunter. 
I'm gonna take turns hopefully swimming with humpback whales. So the drive is definitely worth it. Uh, Dad's here. Don't think she recognizes you anymore. <laughs> Hi, does that look a bit silly? days ever agree like ever we swam with humpback whales with whale sharks we saw dolphins and we saw mating sea turtles <laughs> all in one day i also think hunter has become friends with a lot of new people everyone absolutely loved her on the boat <laughs> and a and i think that makes up for all the other bus rides that was <laughs> Oh my goodness, we... It was so cool because it was like the old fly in the nest of just me and Jess mixed with like... Hunter? Hunter! And like she it. did so well. We were a little bit nervous because it was like seven hours on a boat. And she did so good. Was, that was... Seriously, I can't get over it. I'm so happy. We, we were just saying we, we now just want to like pop, pop Hunter to bed, get fish and chips, and just enjoy the rest of this little oh. birthday week. But I hope you guys oh enjoyed the video. Gosh. I've loved it so far. Of course, big thank you, Scott. For making this happen and you jess as well for the surprise this is <laughs> and so it's continuing cool. it's continuing well your birthday still is until friday oh. all right guys <laughs> this is cool if you are new around here please hit subscribe and we'll see you next time all right Bobby, it's <laughs> all right guys okay bye <laughs>